Yo, what's up everybody? How is it going? Today we're playing some Dota 1x6, which is of course made by Xeno. And a little while ago, Xeno added something into the game that I am still very much enthralled by, which is the plus 10 AoE magic damage common upgrade. And um, today I want to kind of see, like, what if we played Alchemist and we just got Ord of the White Orbs and how much AoE magic damage can we do? And how strong do we get if we just have a million White Orbs? We'll see. So I hope you guys enjoy the video. And let's just get right into it. Okay, we got ourselves Alchemist. We'll grab some boots and we'll grab a Quelling Blight and an Acid Spray and I guess a Corrosive Weaponry. I mean, you don't have to skill Grievous Greed anymore, so... Yeah, no, that's fine. Come up here, throw in an Acid Spray really quick. And that's one of the nice things about Alchemist. Uh, acid Spray is so powerful, it just like instantly clears the creep camp before we even get the game started. Isn't that crazy? Isn't that nice? And then we can come back here. And then we uh, just punch this guy in his face. There you go. And then we throw down a second acid spray. And take these guys down as well. And look at how much money we already got. And then uh, I will get some mana. Yes! That is so good. That is actually like the gaudy upgrade right now. I'm very happy about that. And we'll come over here. And we're going to stack the medium camp here. Maybe a little bit of an odd one. We don't do that too much. But I actually really like it. Uh, with Alchemist, uh, we can get medium tier, medium camps stacked really, really early. And that then gives us access to creeps that um, we can farm and our opponents can't really farm. And uh, yeah, Acid Spray is just a super good ability, what can I say? Right, it's kind of crazy good, that spell. And then we'll get Unstable Concoction because we don't really need more Corrosive Weaponry. Like, it's fine. <laughs> get Fairy Trinket. Uh, I don't think I'll use Acid Spray here. I want to use it for the Creep Bay. And then um, we'll pick up something to farm with. Probably just some good old power treads. We could get face boots, I guess. Maybe face boots are better. They let us move more quickly. But power treads are a bit more damage on Alchemist. Yeah, it doesn't really matter that much. And then we're just going to go farm. Maybe we'll actually fully lean into that right away. Like, why don't we just get a Radiance first? Because it's a bad idea. <laughs> That's why we don't. But um, is that really going to stop us? Has a bad idea ever stopped us before? I don't think so. I do not believe so. Ooh, somebody uh, is here and uh, it's a way of our stack now. All right. Oh, bad news. We might be dead. No, what are you doing? I mean, if the ogre wants to farm our camp, then I guess good luck. It's not gonna work. It's just really slow for you. Mm, but I don't like that he's keeping an eye on it. Yeah, alright. Hello, buddy. Oh, no. Yeah, we gotta go. <laughs> this is all turning out to be not so great. Um, maybe, maybe that's maybe that's a flaw with the strategy. Maybe that's a that's a flaw with the plan. Uh, look, the goal today is to be greedy. The goal today is to be maximum greedy. That does also mean we have to farm creeps greedily. This is terrible. Reach 200 unspared gold, you receive plus one all attributes. All right, might as well not have an upgrade, honestly. But I guess we'll have it for the time being. It is something and uh, it will maybe help. Maybe it won't. We'll see. I got to get some stuff for the other game. We'll just get some face boots, I think. Like, I was gonna just be greedy and rush a Radiance or Battle Fury or both, but honestly speaking, with the Ogre coming in and interrupting us like that, it just wouldn't work out. We would end up uh, falling behind pretty quickly, and then, uh, you know, that's not fun either. Alright, take this. Thank you very much. Take this, and thank you, and nothing. 7% damage against creeps. Let's go. 
That may seem like a weird upgrade, but it's actually kind of nice. Counts for neutral creeps. Like, doesn't doesn't just apply to wave creeps, but you can also just increase the damage you deal against the, the jungle creeps. And 7% extra. Hey, that helps with farming. That's 7% farming speed. Maybe not literally, but, you know, kind of gets there. I will get uh, chemical rage cooldown reduced. That's actually a pretty nice one as well. I mean, we also don't want to get too far ahead anyway, right? If we get too far ahead, then that just means um, people are going to be uh, hunting us down. And that's not good either. Although we are alchemists, people are going to be hunting us down no matter what. Alright, hello. What legendary are we doing? We're doing the E. That's just because the E path uh, is still really Grievous Greed. Like, it's not corrosive weaponry, it's Grievous Greed. And uh, that is uh, the most fun. And that's what we care about. Also, there's a specific thing we can get from the E path. So uh, every time we have 4,500 gold, we can get ourselves, or the first time we have 4,500 gold, we can get ourselves this fancy recipe to a secret item that nobody else can have. And there's a specific item you're looking for that is an Octarine Core upgrade. And what that item does is it allows us to um, <laughs> increase the value of White Orbs, makes them more powerful. Like we have a button that we can click then, and then all of our White Orbs have their boosts increased by like 30% or something. I'm not entirely sure, but it's a pretty reasonable amount. And um, yeah, that would be fairly strong to have. What's this Juggernaut build? Q. Okay, Q is scary, so we want to stay away from that. Grievous Greed, maximum good. Yes, please. Hello, thank you. The buttons we're playing along again. You know how 1x6 is. Sometimes 1x6 just doesn't, doesn't want to do things. It's okay, we're used to that by now. But it does also lead to situations where it just seems like I'm standing there in a silly way, not doing anything. <laughs> and I guess I am, but it's like, not, not my intention, you know what I mean? Alright, take here. Uh, we'll get more unstable concoction. I guess that's a nice thing about this new alchemist, right? Like, we don't have to level up the Grievous Greed, so we have more skill points for everything else. Uh, these 4,500 gold uh, uh, recipes, we don't really want them yet. So, this recipe requires two proper items to be used, right? And um, it's usually best to just, like, already build some items and then go for those recipes afterwards and upgrade what you are getting. Yes! We did it! We have 10 magical damage. Alright, one one hundredth of the way there. The goal is a thousand. <laughs> Okay, that's maybe that's maybe a, a bit uh, high of a goal. Let's maybe say a hundred. Guys, think we can do a hundred bonus damage? Maybe. I mean, it could be possible. We'll see. Got to be optimistic, right? Got to have some fun with it. All right, so we have a relic. That'll be uh, nice because it just kind of uh, gives us oh, actually a lot of attack damage. So it's pretty valuable just for that. And here's a blue. Every creep kill increases my attack speed and movement speed, which is nice. Just kind of lets us move around a bit quicker. Ooh. Are we dead? We might be. Uh, no, I think we're fine. Good, 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 good. No orb of corrosion. Orb of corrosion and we're probably dead there, but... Nothing that we need to worry about, as it seems. So, we're good. Take down this guy, take down this. Thank you. Ooh. There's an Omni Slash. But we're fine. Close, but we are fine. And then let's just teleport out of here. That's some creeps we can farm around here, right? We're not that picky. We'll take whatever we can get. Bounty Rune, that sounds good. Mostly I need to finish up this uh, Radiance. That's kind of crucial here. Because once we have Radiance, we are actually uh, strong. Like, we can actually start being dangerous. And then we also need to get Aghanim Scepter as quickly as possible. So, what does Aghanim Scepter do in this mode? Aghanim Scepter makes it so we can farm our White Orbs. <laughs> With the White Orbs, uh, of course, uh, we can uh, then get ourselves more AoE damage Orbs. And that's the goal. 
Now, we do want a Blink Dagger first, because otherwise we are just going to be too limited in our movement to properly farm as quickly as we want to. And, uh, yeah, but other than that, let's just get moving, right? We've got the Radiance. We are Alchemist. Let's get ourselves a bit of mobility and then uh, get that Aghanim Scepter going on. So we can get ourselves... Oh, this is my stack from earlier. My disastrously horrible stack. Hey, look. Sometimes we make mistakes. Mix make mistakes. This has worked very nicely in the past, right? Like, if this just kind of goes ignored, um, then what we can do is we can take uh, both these camps back and forth and uh, farm them both and get ourselves a whole, whole bunch of gold that way. And it can be really effective, but of course, sometimes you just get caught out. Hello, I am Warlock, and I enchant you to leave a like on the video. Thank you very much. All right, Alchem uh, sorry, Alchemist, uh, Juggernaut is Q, Ogre is E, a Skeleton E, I've got W, and then finally Q. Ooh, that's a weird one. Can't say I've seen too much of that one. It's kind of hard to play, I think. That's why people don't like it very much. I will get the dragon scale. I mostly just care about having some armor. Armor is nice. <laughs> Alright, we get two additional rare upgrade points from creeps. Um, that's mostly just beneficial because uh, maybe if the game goes long enough, we can get all of the <laughs> all of the blues. And then if we have all of the blues, we can start farming white orbs from creeps. <laughs> that is possible. Um, it's of course a little bit tricky, a little bit difficult, but uh, you never know. Gotta be optimistic. Oh man. Oh, I mean, at least I'm getting some strength. These guys. And then get the blink dagger. And yeah, and we'll just kind of like keep moving through this. Like the blink target is just something where um, the layout of the one x six map really lends itself to being used with the blink target. Oh yes, we are. Ah, oh. all right. That's a shame. But the layout of the 1x6 map really lends itself to being used with a blank dagger because it's got a lot of these like um, kind of path arounds like this, right? And now I can just get across them, which makes things so much faster. The Dota map is built to be uh, something you can navigate, but the 1x6 map is uh, built to be something that makes players run into each other, right? And that means it has these awkward paths that just kind of funnel people into the same spots. And um, we need to... We need to just kind of like make it past those points in a way. As long as we can avoid those high tension locations, uh, we can avoid a lot of possible fights. And also we can get ourselves a whole bunch of extra money just by moving around the map in a more efficient way. Bounty rune. Good. Cool. The Manta Illusions have the damage? I think so, yeah, but um. Not a hundred percent sure. All right. Oh man. Oh, I should have gotten the damage against creeps, I guess. <laughs> I, don't know, I just see the four strength upgrade, and it's the four strength upgrade is usually an upgrade that you pick, right? Because turns out four strength is really good. Uh, but. Uh, Seeing as what we're specifically doing is just kind of farming like a maniac. Maybe it would have been better to just uh, dedicate even those upgrades to it. Okay. Yeah, it shouldn't be enough. Yeah, we're fine. Omni slash down, spin down. Really nothing you can do there. 
Oh, hello. Yeah. Okay. Oh, no. No, that creep. Oh, God damn it. Oh. You gotta be joking. <laughs> oh. It silenced me. I mean, I should have seen that coming, but then the ogre was there as well. Well, well, well. I guess that's just how it goes sometimes, right? I'm recording a lot of stuff today. Because I... Uh... Oh, yes. Thank you. Create a bounty room. Wait! Oh shit. I for a moment I was confused. I was like, wait, don't I have to click real screen? No, I have to click corrosive weaponry. Uh ah. Alright, we missed the bounty room. That's fine. But we can create bounty rooms now. Uh but yeah, I'm recording a lot of stuff today because uh I have one less day to record next week. Because I'm gonna be uh traveling a little bit to meet our publisher for Alex. Because they're coming to Germany for the Gamescom, and I just kind of want to, like, actually have met them in person, you know, since I have the opportunity. It's not a long trip. It's like two hours there, two hours back, but still. You know, it kind of uses up a day nonetheless. Alright, we're getting buffs from Bounty Runes now. That helps a lot. Burn these guys down. And we want to be farming these in the center because um, this is dependent on um, the health of the creep. So we want to make sure we're always killing the ancients, ideally, every single rotation. Uh, because they by far have the most HP and that gives us by far the most points for our upgrade here. And that's what we're looking for, right? What are we going for next? I guess we save up the 4,500 and see what we can find. It's probably not a bad idea. We could also go Battle Fury. <laughs> to like fully lean into it. But that seems... Questionable. Let's just get the 4,500 gold and see what we can find. 7% damage against creeps. This time I didn't miss it. Hmm. This is uh, our second highest value upgrade, I suppose. Alright, we gotta use our bounty rune generation. Mm hmm. Very good. And. Oh no, these are terrible. <laughs> Okay. Well, hmm, that's the, that's a bit disappointing. I'm gonna go into the center and stack the ancient. Oh no, they're dead. Some somebody has sort of stacked the ancients, I suppose. Kill them. Food. <clears throat> Rest in peace, Pingo. No disrespect to Pingu, but it's unlikely that Pingu was going to be the highest impact player here anyway. <laughs> Just, you know. We have, we have seen how that works out. Now right, we took down the Ancients. And we almost have our first recipe. Which is pretty nice. I'm curious to see what it's gonna be. 
Ideally, we get the Aghanim's Octarine. Oh, Battle Fury upgrade. Well, shit, I guess we're getting a Battle Fury. Alright. I, ge I guess we're getting a Battle Fury. Just triple down on farming. Uh, bounty rune? Oh, don't silence me out of this. Okay, good. Yes! Finally! 20 minutes. That's all it took. 20 minutes, but we got there. Managed to get our second um, AoE damage upgrade. Okay. Yeah, I guess we did. Nothing we can do there. Nothing we can do there. That will just kill us pretty much every time. So uh, the Morta, a magic damage burst build. It just kind of like does a ton of damage. That's really it. It's a bit difficult to set up. So I, I am not trying to say that the build is like, you know, too strong or anything like that. It's just too strong for us. Because <laughs> we don't have any items. <laughs> oh no. We have to duel people now. How? How are we gonna duel somebody? Oh nice, we got more AoE magic damage. Okay, that's how we do it. Alright. Um, I'm gonna get a quickening charm, but not equip it right now. All right, use this, get a bounty, big money. Yeah, there's just no chance, right? Yeah. Like, that's just the problem with alchemist builds that are focused on farming now. Because you're forced into duels and, like, how... How? How am I supposed to do it? Just doesn't work. All right, get ourselves a bounty. Get ourselves another bounty, and then just just run, just run really quickly. Get out of here. Uh, we get the Mjolnir next. Uh, acid spray cooldown reduced for what it's worth. Sure. Pick this up. There's some creeps here. We'll take these guys down. I mean, the nice thing is that we are starting to be kind of powerful. Maybe we should have gotten the spell on. That could possibly have been an interesting choice. But, uh... Oh, no. We're not, we're not fighting that. <laughs> <laughs> Cloak for more burn. No, I got cooldown reduction for more farm. I think that makes sense. Okay. Uh, yeah, we'll use this. We're giga silenced for like three days. Damn it. Got stunned at the end there from Abasha. That's always uh, the special, right? Stunned on the very last second of the spin. So that we can't defend ourselves. I'm actually incredibly surprised at Valve's new approach to Dota 2 focusing on free-to-play. More like with the new anniversary event. I wonder if they looked at the numbers of people playing for the free arcana and thinking of Dota as a gateway for people to get, its, get Steam instead of just making money on Dota. Well, I mean, that's what Dota originally was. Right? Like, Dota originally, like, I'm 100% like convinced by this. I'm not sure if this is, like, even a theory or if this is just confirmed, but, like, Dota was completely free in the way that it was because it was a way for Valve to get people to use Steam and Steam wasn't... Oh, thanks for the thanks for the stuns, so I can't even throw out an unstable concoction. Um, so that Steam was... So that people start using Steam. 
Like that's, uh, I'm pretty sure that's what Dota just was for. It was just to encourage people to get Steam. Because you know, back in 2011, Steam wasn't as established as it is today. I don't think that today Dota is going to get people to use Steam more. I think Steam has much outgrown Dota. Oh, hello. I guess I'm just gonna attack. Oh. Just blinked out of my radiance. Alright. Good news. Um... We did actually manage to kind of hold on there. So, could have been worse. We'll get another vision thing. I'm going to keep picking up the vision things because they just let us uh, have an idea of where people are and it lets us stay safe. Alright, we can just dodge them. Dodge the fights. We'll give more chemical rage value. And here's a white orb. And 7% damage against creeps. Nice. <laughs> hey, we'll take it. Gotta be optimistic, right? And then we've got 6,000 gold coming up here. We'll see what we get. Nice. Octarine plus Aghanim Scepter upgrade. So let's pick this up right away. Let's just even more farming speed. <laughs> it's just so unnecessary at this stage. <laughs> but of course, Octarine core is great for farming. Uh, lowers our cooldowns. And uh, we can activate this to uh, increase the power of all common orbs to 140%. Blue on the Ancients. Oh, okay. All right. I can tell that this is very important to y'all. Uh, yeah, let's get more Chemical Rage, I guess. So I need to just survive now, right? If I can't survive the initial assault... I can maybe just like get a bunch of hits in. Ooh, come on. Come on. We can do this. Come on. No. Just just let me have it. <gasps> yeah. More armor. Alright, we got a kill. Look at that. I mean, our burn damage is really not a factor yet. Uh, but who knows? Maybe it'll get there eventually. I mean, that's really the best I can say. Oh, got, got more armor. I guess I could get more damage against creeps, but at this stage it really feels quite unnecessary. Oh dear. Oh, nice. Okay, alright. Look at us, we're getting there. Just hit him. Is this mine? Oh. So the good news is that we are actually kind of just killing people. <laughs> okay. I'm 
because it's just, it's, I just take my room. Um, so that's good. Uh, what do we buy? We have both of our legendary items. So there's nothing else to get in that regard. I'm just going to keep getting Elmo. <laughs> just get infinite armor. I have 100% uptime now. I can just have Chemical Rage active all the time. So that's good. That is good. That is good. Oh, here's a blue. Three common upgrades. Yes, more AoE damage. I mean, I still have some hope that we'll get there. How much do we have? We have four. It's slow. We're not getting there quickly, but who knows? Maybe we can get there. Do I get Bloodstone? I mean, we get an essence of speed, right? I <laughs> do get a Bloodstone. It's just too AoE damage, right? <laughs> oh, that seems actually kind of bad, but here we are. Dagon? Oh yeah, Dagon would be better. Dagon would be totally better. It's okay, we have enough money. <laughs> we'll just get both. <laughs> There's absolutely nothing stopping us from just getting rid of the Bloodstone and getting a Dagon instead. Except for this guy. I guess this guy could be stopping us, potentially. Can I just pick up my White Orb? Oh, man. Oh, we just, we just stunned so much. Okay. Yeah, no, we're just, we're just always stunned. Always stunned. Hmm. <laughs> what do we do about that? I mean, nothing really, right? That's just what that build does. Ah, that's just what it does. It just, just stuns you a lot. I mean, I guess I could get like E-Blade Dagon, right? But then I can't attack. Heaven's Halberd taken? Okay, we just sell this, right? This doesn't actually do anything. <laughs> that was a that was a vice investment. <laughs> Great item purchase. Very good, very good. Big money. But I think having a disarm is just a good idea. Against a lobby full of attackers like this? I mean, sure, Muerta doesn't attack and neither does the Bristleback really, but I think against those two heroes, my plan is just to like lose. Yeah. No, I think that's my plan. I think I'm going with that, yeah. It's just, it's okay. Alright, uh, she's got a BKB, that's a problem. Oh nice, we dodged that, that's actually a huge deal. Oh, we stunned ourselves. Uh-huh. We just feared a lot. Yeah. I mean, it's not exactly very interactive, I gotta be honest. There's not much we can do. Uh, deal six magic damage. I don't know what happened now, though. It's just we're getting stunned to death. That build just stuns you until you die, or you don't, I guess. I want to take these really quick because they are white orb. And we care about white orbs. Thank you. Oh, more armor. 
what the fuck is up with these? I have so much, I have so much armor. I could have even more. I have nine armor upgrades. Can you leave my creeps alone? I'm farming here. No. I just, I'm just stunned so much that I can't even like activate it. Oh, come on. All right. All I want is some peace and quiet while I fight one opponent at a time that then perma stuns me. What is, why, why is that so much to ask for, you know? Oh, there's another one. Oh, oh, great. Okay. Hello. Welcome back. I'm just gonna go. <laughs> I'm just leaving. <laughs> I've had enough of this shit. <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs> no, 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 thank you. So we have way too much money, right? Like, way too much money. Is Dagon really the way to go? I mean, Dagon is a really strong item. It's a really strong item. Probably is the way to go. Mm, nothing here, nothing here. Oh, we just cleared everything. Uh, yeah, let's just go respawn her for what it's worth. Nobody's looking to fuck around with the siege wave, which makes sense. Wait, let me summon an illusion, uh, a uh, rune really quick, thank you. These guys don't stand a chance. I mean, like, yeah, this Battle Fury upgrade is very good for clearing creeps. Okay, so we have 10,000 gold. Um, we'll grab this, we sell this really quick. Could max level Dagon. Hey, you're making me spill. Should probably get the epic sometime. That's fine. We'll we'll get there when we get there, right? <laughs> and we'll never get we'll never get the AOE damage. <laughs> I mean, I have had I have so many fucking upgrades. And honestly, I feel like I am well below average for these AOE damage hits. But, uh, I mean, I don't have any actual evidence for this claim. It just feels like it, you know? Oh my god. Nice. Got a kill. Very good. I need the plus one white orb choices. I do need that. I do need that. That would be great. But we need a couple kills to get it. <laughs> okay. Yes! Hi. Hey, we're working on it. We are working on it. We are at 50 AoE magical damage now. So really, if we can just get another couple 600 of these, we'll be in great shape. Do I upgrade my blink dagger? I mean, I feel like right now I might be best off. No, I should probably just buy the epic, right? White orb. Oh. Nothing. Oh, she's gone. Oh, there she is. All right. Damn. You just get disabled the whole way through. It's crazy. Uh, for each bounty when you pick up, my attack speed increases. Well, I guess that's nice. Pick up another bounty. Thank you. All right. It would be really nice if we could win this. And we'll see if it's possible. I actually don't think it's impossible. 
I think this is very much doable. Because we have Dagon. We have some stuns. We have Heaven's Halberd. Nice. Okay. Come on. Let me pick this up. Alright, let me don't 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 let me pick it up. Oh, I have a full inventory. That's why. Uh <laughs> more damage against grapes. No, I don't think. I don't think we need that. And these are terrible. I guess I guess this. The uh corrosive weaponry thing. Alright, we'll put this here, this here, this here. Ooh. <laughs> All right, somebody just fucking vanished. So that's not too bad. Structures fortified. Mixing it up. <clears throat> I mean, we're still looking for the white orb upgrade thing. So if we could get that. Oh. All right, that's fine. <laughs> oh my god, the juggernaut just does not stand a chance. I the thing is, like honestly, when I activate this, I become just so stupidly powerful. Because I have so many fucking white orbs. Oh, that's great. Yeah, let's go again. The fact that my item build doesn't make any goddamn sense is actually just, like, not even a factor. And here we go. What are we getting? Ah, oh, no. I mean, this isn't too bad, but I think I'll get the... Chemical Rage thing. Oh, okay. We've found a couple of them. Nice. Uh-huh. Right, I'm trying to cast the Heaven's Albert. It's just very difficult. Oh, really? That is insane. What a snipe. Right, let's take these guys down. <laughs> they don't stand a chance. More attack speed. Pick up another rune. And what do I do with my blink dagger? Arcane blink? Swift blink? Or overwhelming blink? Probably arcane blink? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Give me a second. God, you people. There's blues here and purples there, and I just can't even, I can't even think about it for longer than a goddamn split second. Oh, Mirror Shield. Oh, that's great, actually. Mirror Shield is usually an item that you don't want to buy, or wanna, don't want to get, because it's... No, but we'll get this. Got a bunch of healing while we're in Asset Spray. Nice. We got the stun. That's fine. Hey! <laughs> Mirror Shield is usually kind of bad. Because you need to buy um, a Lincoln's for it, right? But with Alchemist, it's kind of okay. I mean, we've got, got plenty of money. I think we just get Arcane Blank. Like, I feel like you can make an argument for the other two. But with Arcane Blink, we just we get what we care about, which is... The maximum amount of mobility. More strength. Thank you. <laughs> I guess health? We care about health, right? Oh, these are already dead. Bounty rune. We'll just wait this out for a second. Uh, and at this point, we're actually done. Am I missing anything? Are there any items we can still buy? Oh, it, did you block the Ancients? How rude. 
Oh, that's just... That's just petty. No, <clears throat> oh, god damn it. <laughs> Spell out, I guess. <gasps> and we're just kind of picking up whatever we can find. Who even cares what it is at this stage, right? No, come here. Come here, let's fight, let's fight. No, let's do this. Oh, nice. Oh, can't catch up. If he's running away, he has so much disable. But let's see, we're going up against the Mordan now, and I think she's probably going to have a bit of a hard time against us. Hello. <laughs> she created one of those from her, of herself, that's funny. <gasps> Alright, Heaven's Halberd. Mm-hmm, we're silenced, that's okay. Activate this, activate all of our shit. Like, honestly, just activate everything we got, which is quite a lot, we have a lot of stuff. And... Okay, just hanging in there. We got it, we got it, we got this done. Oh, never mind. She's got disables for days. Ah, oh, she won that? Really? There's no world in which she ever wins that. If it just keeps going, right? If that fight just continues, I always, always eventually kill her. But she just has so much disabled that she can make it take such a long time. I guess we probably don't need blink for duels. But I don't know what to get, get instead. Uh, magic resistance is fine. Spell amplification is fine. Okay. Come here. There's a stun. Nice. Uh, corrosive weaponry. I should maybe have gotten the slowing thing. Oh. Well, these are useless. It's a very long game of 1x6. <laughs> uh, health? Oh no, we need to end this soon. Oh, we gotta, we gotta get out of here. Dude, like, we started this game a while ago, and I didn't think it was gonna take so long that I would have to worry about needing to go. <laughs> it's just a, diff it's just a bounty rune in the middle of it really quick. It's okay, don't worry about it. Um, yeah, uh, well, second boss, so that generally, most of the time, means that we win. Because we are alchemists, and that's just how the hero works. Uh, does everybody know what we're going for? Because there is a single correct choice. Always the W. <laughs> Reduces damage attack by 20% and then we reflect 50% of that damage. That is crazy. Like, late game, that can hit for, like, literally 10,000 damage. Like, not joking. Especially, especially when you keep in mind that we are tanky. Right? Like, our entire build is super tanky. tanky. Alright, Ogre's down. Probably could have sniped that epic, but oh well. But we're super tanky. Uh, that is... Yes! We got another. 
Alright, let's have a little look at what the others are doing. Mm-hmm. Oh. I'm gonna try to kill the Morita, I think. Right? Also, I don't know what that sound is. Can you guys hear that? Oh, she knew I was there. Mm -hmm. See? Now, look at that. Alright. Yeah, be good to <laughs> I think I'll just kill her like this. It's a little mean. But she's not really fighting me in a way where I can actually engage with her. So I'll just have to take her out. Like, I don't know what else to do, but she gotta go. Aww. Didn't get it. Alright. So, against the Bristleback, we want to swap our items around a tad, right? We definitely need Shiva's Guard. Probably want Scotty too. I'm guessing. We have way too much money. We don't need to worry about... We don't need to worry about having... Um... The enough gold for our stacks. There's plenty. I think we go Shiva's Guard and Silver Edge. That seems okay. Sell these two, pick this up, pick this up. And I can also still have an Eye of Scotty and be at maximum stacks for my gold, right? So it should all be fine. I, I honestly, I'm not too worried about this. This seems super winnable. But, you know, we also should take it seriously. How many white orbs have you got? I've got a lot of white orbs. <laughs> I've got a lot of white orbs. <laughs> How many exactly? Who really knows? Oh! Alright, give me one moment. I'll just I'll just do this. Like just, you just don't really do enough damage. Like it's fine. Also, I uh wait, let me show you how many white orbs I got. I gotta Yeah. This is how many how many white orbs we've got so you can see it properly all right now i need to wait let me get let me get a bounty room first thank you and then we activate this and here and just just chill they can cancel this toss that and you can see this is why this is why that's always the correct choice <laughs> it does so much damage <laughs> okay finished just in time so i hope you guys enjoyed the video uh if you did don't forget to give the video a thumbs up we didn't really manage to like properly follow our game plan but at the end of the day we still managed to win so isn't that what's important but i guess we did follow our game plan like our goal i guess we didn't man manage to achieve i wanted to have a hundred thousand aoe magic damage we didn't quite get there but anyway i hope you guys enjoyed it and i'll see you guys tomorrow goodbye